So, what do you know about firearm seizures? The answer for most people is probably nothing, and that's a good thing. But for still a lot of people out there, they have a very clear meaning because they have had one done on themselves. Three men are in custody right now after a significant number of ghost guns were seized in the San Diego area. Police seized in total 45 firearms without serial numbers. According to police, the guns were found when serving search warrants at San Diego businesses and homes in the southeastern, northeastern, and mid-city areas. I'm going to read a definition on what this means. The firearm seizure and retention law allows law enforcement officers to remove firearms from dangerous individuals, in quotes, yeah, and keep them until a hearing can be held where a judge decides whether the individual is a threat to himself or herself or others. So we did a case study on one of the worst crime ridden states in the country because I was curious to see how much these affect crime. We already all know the answer and it's a very simple answer. If someone wants to do something bad enough, they're going to find a way to do it. Which means that if you go and seize their guns and they still want to go out there and be a gangbanger or go out there and murder someone, they're just going to go to the street and buy another one. If you have enough money, most things are for sale. It's just the law of the world we live in. And no gun law that some congressman can write up is going to change that. So this article says 30 years of gun seizures in Baltimore haven't kept the city safe. No shit. If we just look at the statistics on what weapons are used for homicides, you'd be better off doing hammer seizures or baseball bat seizures or knife seizures. Anything other than a gun, pretty much. But no, 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 that's not a part of your plan. You just wanna disarm America. You could give two shits about gun laws. So their current focus is on illegal gun possession without a license. We got two graphs here. We're gonna go over the first one first and then we'll put them together because it's pretty interesting. This first one says Baltimore Police Department homicide and non-fatal shooting data in 1990 to 2021. You notice anything odd about this graph? From just a logical standpoint, if you're doing something that's working, right, and you want to reduce the number of something, if it's working, you should see a gradual to steep decline in your graph. Look at me, I feel like I'm teaching a bunch of senators grade school math. But instead, what your graph does is it's pretty much straight, and then right now it, it's gone up. So over 30 years, your seizures or trying to battle the war on guns has done nothing. So let's all give them a clap, yep. Now let's go to the second graph. This one reads Baltimore Police Department gun seizure and weapons possession arrest data from 1990 to 2021. Golly, look at 2005. Over 5,000 gun seizures that year. And look at 2005 on the other graph. It literally went down probably by one. Okay guys, wow, one for 5,000 gun seizures. But then it went up again next year. So people probably were just like, oh, they took my gun. I'm just gonna go get another one off the street. But if you look at these two graphs together, there are a lot of common things that are going on with these graphs. If you look at 2016, that's where we see the biggest jump in non-fatal and homicide shooting data. If your seizures were working, what happened that year? I mean, you guys just take a break? Oh, dude, it's 2015. We don't have to do that this year. I mean, because if you look at the other graph, the amount of gun seizures and weapon possession arrests really didn't change from 2014 to 2015. I'm gonna put some strong facts out there because these need to be heard. For whoever's giving the order for these gun seizures, just understand one, this is a fact that you are putting your law enforcement personnel in extreme danger. Why? Why would they be in danger for that? Well, because people see their guns as one of their fundamental rights to being an American and also being a God-fearing man. We have the right to self-defense and we don't believe that the government or anyone should tell us what we can and cannot use for self-defense. So you would probably get the same reaction as if you tried to go into somebody's house, raid them, and just tell them, you know what, we're taking away your First Amendment. We're gonna leave duct tape on your face and have you watch 24 hours a day so you can never speak again. You'd probably even have a worse reaction from that. 
The city is currently being crushed by violence. We asked an expert just how effective these gun seizures and crime sweeps really are. Tables of guns, bullets and drugs. This is what Baltimore police posted to social media following another week of officers on the job. The arrest maze have a direct, direct effect on public safety in Baltimore City. It doesn't work. Stop doing it. If you're in a business and you're trying to sell a product and every year your sales go down, what are you saying? Guys, we're doing a great job. Um, let's just keep doing it the same exact way. Our method works, our procedures work, our leadership is doing great. We love losing money, so let's just keep doing this. No, you probably throw out the entire playbook, you start from scratch and you come up with something that works. What will work for this? What will work for people not being shot so much? There's one solution. You meet force with equal force. If today every criminal found out that every single American was armed, do you think they would think twice about going into some guy's shop and trying to rob it? Do you think they would think twice about going over there to try to grab that woman's purse as she's walking out of a mall? I think yes, because while they're criminals, they're still humans and they don't wanna die. If they didn't value their life, they'd take it themselves. So we all know what the real goal of all the elites are. It's not gun control. It's not banning a certain item. It's not controlling how many rounds are in your gun. It's purely gun confiscation and disarming America. But stop trying to cover it up with this stuff because you guys look so dumb. Law enforcement praises departments for how many gun seizures and how many guns they got off the street. Okay, great. But what did it do? Oh, it did nothing to stop crime? Then stop.